we got the negative decision yesterday, word of it, um, the families were absolutely devastated because yet again this was another kick in the teeth for families that have been campaigning constitutionally and with great dignity now for two, three generations. Uh, and to be knocked back in such an ignominious way as well and after such a prolonged period of time that the Attorney Gen General took a look at this case was also quite devastating as well because the families have spent the last couple of decades gathering evidence themselves. Um, we couldn't rely on any police investigation or any other statutory body to do that for us. And yet, to have this decision at the end of it, that there was no new evidence that the uh, Attorney General could rely upon was quite, was quite hurtful. And had you been hopeful that he would agree to your fresh inquest? We were provided so much new information that wasn't available to the coroner at the original inquest. So to be honest with you, we, we, we expected that it was a complete sh a shoot in uh, because the evidence that we had presented to the coroner was archival evidence from British Army, British intelligence and police uh, files um, and it proved that the coroner at the original inquest didn't have the full information in front of them. So what next here? Well the Attorney General has provided us with uh, a decision of many pages that's going to take us a while with our legal team to digest that and to review it and we'll be engaging with our legal team over the next few days and the next week and we'll probably go back to the Attorney General with some points that we need cleared up. But the family still want to fight for that justice in, in the long term? The ongoing campaign for truth of the McGurk's Bar families uh, is, has only got stronger because of the negative response that we got yesterday.